hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with an exciting tutorial on GitLab so this will be a continuation of GitLab CI/CD tutorial for beginners so in the previous tutorials we have seen uh, what is the basics of CI/CD GitLab runners right so those information we have seen and now in this tutorial we will start with the CI/CD pipeline how to create pipeline okay so what we will do in this uh, tutorials we'll just have a relook on the basics of CIC so I will just uh, give a quick uh, recap on that then we will see how to create uh, your own CICD pipeline in GitLab so when we say about uh, CICD pipeline we will talk about uh, GitLab hyphen CI dot YAML file and also jobs what are the jobs in uh, pipeline and also different kind of stages so there are more about the CI/CD pipeline like ta uh, tags, there are artifacts, there are a lot of things which we can do but we will start simply a simple project with the job stages and how a uh, you know, pipeline will look like then we will add up in the uh, section by one by one. Okay. So to get started with the CI/CD uh, basics, so if you have seen my previous tutorial we spoke about uh, this concept right. So CI/CD stands for continuous integration. CI stands for continuous integration, and CD can be continuous uh, delivery or it can be continuous deployment, right? So I have explained to you what it means. So if you see like continuous integration, uh, it have a build and then a test and the merge, right? So for example, we have different kind of developers uh, is working on a project and they have their own feature branches. Uh, they are working on their code and they will uh, sub commit their changes on the code so it can uh, start an automatic build job to integrate those changes then it can do a small unit test and if it uh, passes it can merge those uh, code changes so that would be the continuous integration and all should be automated then if you talk about continuous uh, delivery so this will be the different phases or how it look like in continuous delivery like after uh, you, your continuous integration we will have an acceptance test which will be an automated one and we will be also deploying our application to a staging area so the difference is like we are stopping the automated uh, process still staging area and you know we are not having the automated process to deploy to production so the deployment to production will be a manual step like we need to confirm from our end so that it can be deployed to the production so this will be the continuous delivery process now when we talk about continuous deployment the whole process will be automated so what means like as soon as you make some changes in your application the whole process will be automated and the new version will be deployed into the production so that's a basic uh, information of ci cd if you have not seen my previous tutorial i would say like have a look on that i will link the video uh, description also the link for that video so you can have it in the video description so now let's get started to the actual demo on that. So before I get into the actual demo on the project and how to create the CI CD pipeline, I would request you like uh, click on the subscribe button if you have not done yet or you are new to my channel. And also I would request you to like my videos, share and comment. So we are in the GitLab page. Okay, so uh, there are a few projects. I'm not going to use those projects. You know, that I can see I have some Maven project, Java project, Node project. We will see all those things in the upcoming tutorials. So, you know, for this tutorial, I'm just going to create a new project. Okay, it's going to be a simple blank project, and I'm just going to call it. I'm go just going to call it as test uh, GitLab CI CD. Okay, and I'm going to keep this as private because, you know, I'm I'm doing this for all this testing and learning. So, you know, to show you uh, do all this uh, testing and uh, making those changes, which I don't want to make it a public for everyone because it's just a sample project so i will create the project okay so um, once you create the project you can see we are inside the project and we spoke about in the previous tutorial like what is the ci cd section for in the settings we have a ci cd where we uh, spoke about runners right and we have different kind of runners shared and specific runners and in this tutorial i'm not going to use a specific runner i'm going to use the shared runner so i'm going to keep this enabled but we will be seeing uh, how to make use of the specific runner also in the upcoming tutorial like you know we'll add our own docker runners we'll also add our own runners to run maven builds so or windows runners for running powershell scripts all those things we will see but this is a beginning tutorial so i want to keep it with the shared runner now what i will go to i'll go to the project so in order to have a, a GitLab a CI CD, what the basic requirement is like we need to have a file called GitLab hyphen CI 
dot yml it's not yaml it's just yml okay so you have to be very clear about that so this is a you know blank project there is nothing but if you, you know it can be any project uh, any gitlab project we need to have this uh, uh, gitlab hyphen ci dot yml file so i will create this file first so you can see this will be the uh, syntax or the name gitlab hyphen ci dot yml so if you put yml it will not work and you also have different option to use templates so different application templates you can use uh, like c plus plus share for you know docker uh, there are different templates you can use uh, whichever is used for example npm it will uh, give you some templates like how you using node uh, deploy and all those things so i'm not going to use any of this i'll just delete it okay so i'm not going to apply any template now the basic uh, thing in um, ci cd pipeline is like you will have jobs right and you'll have stages as well so uh, what we will do is we will just write some jobs so i'm going to use job one okay and uh, the basic requirement for a job is like you need to have a script so i will run a script and i'm going to echo it as uh, this is a first sample job okay so that is the basic requirement you should have a you know this will be your job name and this will be your script under which whatever is there it will be running so let me commit this change now you can see it's uh, valid if i go to ci cd and pipeline you should see like there is running right and if i click on it you can see there is job one right which is running if i click on the job one it will show you like you know the process which is running and it says job succeeded so now if i go back to the pipelines again now you can see it's passed right and if i click on it you can see the job name is job one but you can see here it's called test right so this is a stage so by default if you don't give any name uh, for any jobs under which uh, you know um, stage it should be it should be running on the test stage let's go back to the editor okay you can go back to the editor i will just copy this whole content now uh, i'll run it i uh, put the job two so i will make this a sample job one and this sample job two okay so now you have we have job one and we have job two and uh, both runs uh, these contents under script so let me commit this so as soon as you make the commit uh, it will check the uh, gitlab configuration it will start the pipeline okay so if any changes you make it in the gitlab project it will start the pipeline so if i go back to the pipeline it's running if i click on it now you can see there are two jobs but both are clustered under the same uh, stage and it's running uh, cd parallel right so you can run two project parallelly so it's not like you know this job will complete and this will run it on the after it so now there will be scenarios right where you have a build a process to be running first then after the build you have to run the test then maybe after a test you have to run the deploy so if you don't define the stages all the jobs will run parallelly so that may not be the actual requirement you need right so let's go back to the editor so what you can do is i will go to the top and i will put like stages okay and i'll put uh, as build as one stage okay i'll put build as stage and then i will put test as another stage and then i will put deploy okay so now we have three stages defined okay now what we can do is we can you know segregate or we can attach our jobs into the stages so i will put stage here and i will put this will be under stage uh, build okay so this should be under stage build okay so stage build i will change the job into build job okay and i will change the com content to build job okay so this will be the stage one okay now i can put the stage two here it should be 
test so i will map this job to test so i will change this this will be a test job okay so uh, the job name will be build job here uh, this will be uh, clubbed into the stage build and this will be a test job which will be clubbed into the test build i will just copy this same content uh, see this is a very simple um, pipeline okay because we are just uh, trying to understand what is a stage what is a you know job what is the script right so don't worry about the content and the script that we can change it based on our new projects right sure let's change this to deploy job okay and i'm going to put this to deploy so and uh, let me change this would be test job and this should be deploy job okay so now what we did is like we defined three stages okay build test and deploy and uh, we are mapping our jobs into each stage right so this will be a build stage this should be under test stage and this should be deploy stage now let me commit this again it's checking the you know gitlab configuration if there is any syntax issues it will show you like it's not a right one let's go back to the pipeline now you can see it's running and if I expand it now, you can see, you know, we have three stages. One is build, another one is test, and another one is deploy, right? So once the deep, uh, build job is completed, the test job is started. And, you know, once the test job is completed, it will start the deploy job. So that's how it will be now because of different stages. So let's see what is there. So if you go inside, you can see it's completed. If I go back. You can see deploy job is running now once the test job is completed right so it's going in the phase ways like you know it uh, complete one job at a time and then it will go to the next uh, uh, stage right so now what will ha oh, as we said you know what is the case like I have uh, two different uh, tasks which need to be running on the same test so let's go back to our editor now inside the test you know I want to put uh, one more job okay so I will just copy this content and I will just make this as test job one and this will as test job two okay so now what happened is this job one and job two both are mapped to the stage test okay what it means like these two things will be clubbed under the same stage and it can run uh, parallelly so let's uh, commit the change go back to our pipeline Things still updating. Yes, it's running now. So if I go back to the pipeline, now do you see like under test we have two jobs, test job one and test job two, both are running parallelly, but this deploy has not started yet. So that is the uh, you know so stages and jobs in GitLab. So this is a very useful, and that's how you should write your code. You have to understand what has to run or you no know, serial and parallel so you can define your jobs like this should be my first job i should be you know com completed first in the build section then it has to move to the test then it has to move to the deploy now you can see all the job has completed right so you know it, it has used uh, you know the whole um, job uh, to running it's used uh, our shared runners so you can see it as using these runners which is uh, from gitlab runner and it's using some docker image so but we will see in the upcoming tutorial like how to make use of uh, you know uh, the runners from our uh, system like we can make use of our windows machine or we can use make use of linux where we have docker and we can run uh, you know docker images for maven or node.js or those applications uh, i have planned for all those things in the upcoming tutorial we'll uh, create a pipeline for different kind of builds so now you see like uh, we have pipeline section here we have editor where we were trying to edit the content of our gitlab.yaml file we have jobs which will be listing here like how many jobs we have run we have schedules we can, where we can create schedules as well of the pipeline so uh, that's uh, the details which uh, you know i wanted to show you in this tutorial i hope you understood like what is uh, you know stages what is uh, you know uh, jobs and what is the script what we are running inside the script
So that's a simple uh, tutorial to give you the basics of CI/CD pipeline in GitLab. So we will see more complex things in the upcoming tutorial. So you know, before I move on, I would request you like uh, if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed, if you want to watch more videos, click on the subscribe button and also like my videos and uh, share with all of your friends and others who are interested to learn DevOps. So thank you for watching.